what's up guys so on Tuesday the Vacaville California City Council voted four to one in favor of Councilman Curtis Hunt's proposal to table the LGBT Pride Month now according to both the Daily Republic and the Vacaville reporter Curtis Hunt had moved to table the issue and has directed city staff to create a policy of regarding uh, proclamations. Essentially, he says that they should be limited to local issues that are directly affecting the community, because apparently LGBT rights doesn't seem to be a lo doesn't seem to be a local issue. It's too much of a worldly issue to him and the city council. It's not so apparently the local LGBT community doesn't even seem to to be a thought in his head. It's nothing of his concern. So instead, he said that their focus should be on things like Fiesta Days, retirements, and awareness campaigns. Last time I checked, LGBT rights and these groups and pride centers are awareness campaigns so it makes very little sense why mr hunt wouldn't want to you know include that in local issues also i find it funny that fiesta days and retirement seem to you know supersede you know civil rights um this all of this went on for about 90 minutes of discussion, and there was obviously comments weighed from both sides of the aisle. Uh, one of such issue was uh, Greg Davidson, a pastor at Trinity Baptist Church, uh, who supported the motion to table the proclamation. Uh, he argued that Vacaville is a historically conservative community that supported family values during Proposition 8 the notoriously fascist law that was passed and then ruled unconstitutional by the Supreme Court. Now, he basically said that as a pastor, he has to tell people the truth about what's best in their lives. And what truth would that be, Mr. Davidson? So, that raises a lot of issues. Uh, he told the council to stick to the issues that we all agree upon. Well, that's the problem in a growing divide, you know, not only nationally as well as statewide and even countywide, even some s situations citywide, it's kind of hard to just stick to issues that people all agree upon. So I find very big issues with that. Now, as you can imagine, members of the LGBT community were a bit dismayed and disgruntled at this whole scenario, and with, you know, great reason to be. Um, David uh, Deerfeeder, a pastor and a gay man uh, himself, recently said at the council that values that support every human being are family values. It's one of those things where... In instead of basically dealing with the family values that your religion seems to believe in, why not focus on the issue that, you know, that gay people are part, are part of your community too and that their focus should still be your focus. You represent this city, so you're not just representing your Christian community. You're representing the city, and you're not representing Christian uh, the Christian religion, you're representing a city. Your, your religious views don't freaking matter. As sad as it is to say that, they don't. You are, you are politicians, therefore act as such. Now, they also found interesting is that Gloria Davis um, said that the council should declare heterosexual pride month in May which comes obviously with Mother's Day being involved 
is it really that big of an issue to you about having a gay pride month that you feel so underrepresented and your Christian views being so oppressed that you need a heterosexual pride month? Really? Because I don't really think that heterosexuals need awareness. So, this whole thing is very messy, to understate it quite a bit. Um, this was also agreed upon by other members of the council and the community. Um, and obviously bringing up the ideas that it's not a choice. So a lot of different stuff like that. Um, Solano County Supervisor Monica Brown said that she received emails telling her not to speak in support of Pride Month, uh, but that's not going to stop me, said Miss Brown. So, and Miss Brown is one of a few, quite a few county supervisors who is well respected and not afraid to speak her mind in Solano County. So it's one of those things where it's, you know, it's really nice to see somebody actually taking a step forward and, you know, being a human being. So, basically, my two cents on this whole idea is Vacaville is, yes, a historically conservative place. It still is a very conservative place. Not surprising, quite a few people voted for Donald Trump in that city, and we should not be surprised. A lot of these farming communities, people that are from the military, often settle in these areas, and because of that, they typically hold more libertarian or very Christian social conservative views. That shouldn't really matter. The fact is, all that the gay community is asking for is awareness and recognition to basically have a month that they can celebrate their pride without having to go down to San Francisco or Sacramento to hold these, you know, to, to have their views represented. They should be able to have their views represented in their own hometown. And they can't do that because of people like this. So, let me just, just end this with a little message for the Vacaville City Council. Celebrate diversity. Because it's not about your views, it's not about you, you, you. It's not about whether it's a choice or not. It's not about them having this agenda that they're pushing on you. It's not about oppression. It's about tolerance. Believe in it. Because when we can all coexist together, then it really brings a lot more harmony. And lastly, quit watching the fake news, and think for yourself. I'm NorCal Nick, leader of the revolutionist movement, and this has been NorCal Corner. Peace.